No, I'm gonna be rated higher. No, it's me! No, it's me! Guys, guys, guys and girls and whatever! I heard a rumor and at Duke Crew 15, Rui likes the Tuxedo Cat. Okay, I'm placing bets. 15 kids cast on the Tuxedo Cat. Hey, I thought you were placing bets on me! Well, I changed my mind. Oh, I hate you. Everybody and let's just say I'm I'm late as always. And if, but hopefully I'll have a good review. But and if I had so many technical problems, I'm having to do it all over again. So and if this month's review, Sash kept one way for 143, won't be in it. And perhaps the next. And actually, it's not something I just decided on quickly. I have been thinking about it for a little little while because. It is very hard for me to edit these reviews. That's why they usually end up late. And I don't have a lot of time on my hands. Okay, so anyways, let's get started. We start off with the Webkin's Ribbon Line, with its Ribbon Cave Window and whatever that kind of food is. And if so, the, the Webkin's Ribbon Line, um, Gans didn't really do that good of a job in my opinion, and it turned me from, a, from an okay with the lines to a hater of the lines. It's gift box, Let's just say it's too. I just don't like it. It's ribbon cave window. Found it in trade. I would just leave it. I wouldn't even want it. And it's food. I'll stick with with lasagna. And I don't even like lasagna. So and this this pet's overall rating is six out of ten. The Webkin's Bush Baby with its butter slash beetles and foot had another item. Well, let's see, on my paper says it has a super secret safe, but I can't see it here, can you? Well, anyways, who, the Webkin's Brush Baby, Rui, and, and if, I haven't really seen it in plush, only the online picture, but it does look really cute. The gift box, I like it, and the super secret safe, I can't judge it, I don't even know where it is. And the, and the Buttock Slash Beetle, I'll stick with homemade chocolate buckeyes anytime. But anyways, my overall rating for this pet is 8.5 out of 10. For what could Simonum Dox Hound, I think. Yeah, Doxion Hound, I think it's called. Well, anyways, I do, I, I remembered how to pronounce it before, but now I forgot. And uh, anyways, with its Simon Bun Ben and Simon Bones. And uh, the pet, and, uh, I guess it's okay. The cinnamon bun bed, it makes me hungry, and the cinnamon bones make me even more hungry, and the gift box, oh, I gotta eat it. <laughs> and, uh, so, overall, for this pet, I wouldn't buy it, but if someone gave it to me for free, I would log it in. So, this pet, I'm gonna give it an 8.6 out of 10. For Webkid's Rock Hopper Penguin, with its Rock and Hopper Chopper, and its Octopot Pie, yo. <laughs> now, let's just start. Okay, the pet is a. Uh, it's rock hopper ish. And the rock hopper chopper, if I find it in trade, I'm gonna go rock and hop and chop and end it for it. And the octopot pie? Well, I'm better off just. Well, I'm better off having apple pie, and I don't even like apple pie. And so, overall, for this pet, in the. It's not something I would buy, but it's a pet I really like. And so I'm going to give this pet a 9 out of 10. The Webkin's signature giraffe. And with its high size sour and its evergreen ice cream. Mm -mm -mm, I wish we had ice cream in our fridge. Well, anyways, and the, the pet, um, I'm okay with it, but it's the high size shower, if I find that in trade, I wouldn't exactly go ballistic. But it's evergreen ice cream. Oh, and I think and if someone just gave me the pet. I think I'd just log it in just for the ice cream. <laughs> so, anyways, and if this pet ain't something I would actually buy. And if, but, and if, but I do like it. And just so I'm gonna give it an 8.8 .8 out of 10. For Webkit's 
fall signature tuxedo cat with its sparkling green water and its fine dining table and its gift box. <laughs> okay, I got it arranged kind of funny on here. Well, anyways, we'll start out with the pet. I really love this pet in plush online. I just love it. And this pet I really like. Now, it's sparkling green water I wouldn't exactly go crazy for. It's fine dining table. Oh... I can't wait to enjoy the fine dining experience. And it's gift box, well, let's just say it, it's appropriate for this pet. So, this pet is a pet I'm definitely going to want to buy. I'm definitely going to want to buy it, people. But I don't know if I'm ever going to get the money. And also, I have other goals. I'm going to give, give this pet a 9.8 out of 10. It would get a 9.9 .9 if, it, if it had something else besides that water. For Webkin Signature Endangered Iberian Lynx. Man, that's a mouthful. With its junior tree, jumper tree hammock, and its reptile raven, it looks like. Kind of like ravioli, but I think it's raven or ravioli. I don't know. <laughs> <It's a laughs> well, anyways, that's, it's a, the, pet of, oh, the pet I really like. I mean, it's, a, it's perfect. The gift box... Oh, I've fallen in love. And, and it's hammock, I'm not so crazy about, but I do like it. And it's food, I'll stick with Valvriola. So, anyways, overall, this pet I love. I want to get it really bad, but I'm probably not going to get the cash for it because I got summer projects that I'm going to do and, and put my money towards. And so, but anyways, this pet gets, gets a flawless rating of 10 out of 10. The Webkin's St. Pat Setor with its gift box and its Setor Cedar and St. Pat Wishing Bridge. Let's start out with the pet. The pet, and well, I just do really not like it. The cereal, I'm not really big of it. Not a, not a bridge. Um, if it's in trade, I guess I will pull out some items for it, but not much. So really, overall, this pet, I just do not really like I'm sure there's a lot of you who would rate 10 out of 10 really high, but this pet I'm not a real big fan of. and So it gets the lowest rating I've ever given a pet on my reviews. 5 out of 10. This month's follow-up. The award for the top 3 pets of this month goes to the Webkin Signature Giraffe, the Webkin's Fall Signature Tuxedo Cat, and without a doubt, first place goes to... The Webkin Signature Endangered Iberian Lynx, who has won in the this, this Best Pet of the Month award. Now to the overall rating of this of this month's pets. After adding up the entire store, the overall pet rating is 65.7 out of 80. And really, I think that is a pretty good, well average for Gans. And, but we'll see as as future Webkins come out and my future ratings come in. And, so, thank you for watching this month's review, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.